I uh, work for an organization here in town called Split Pillow. Uh, we're an organization that makes movies. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about sort of what what do we mean by filmmaking and documentary filmmaking and what does that mean? Uh, and the next two days, today and tomorrow, you'll be talking about sort of how to put that together. Documentaries inform us. Can documentaries also entertain us? Yeah. yeah. Good. But that's what's great about filmmaking is that you're the ones who create the reality. It's your story and it's your opportunity to have that camera, to use it the way you want to, to make sure that the purpose of your story is communicated. <laughs> what team are you guys? The yellow, yellow team. team. All right. I wish I was red because oh, wow. yellow is not a good color. Yeah, it's too bright. Yeah. And then we zoom out and then we go to um, the, what's it called? The name of the place that we're going to? Maybe yeah, the Forest that? Preserve. Yeah, the Forest Preserve, the, the title name. I want to be the writer. Like, I want to write this book. Yeah, yeah. I, like, yeah, I want to tell, I want to research. I want Excellent. There's some like, creative nice. director exactly. photography up there, too. She's talking about zooming in on an animal and then making it, then watching it leave and then going into the sun. I was like, wow, oh, yeah. that's epic. <laughs> oh, no, the, yeah. No, these students really understand what they want to do. I cool. think it's fantastic. Well, the, the Salazar program that we're doing here is different in a couple of ways. One, it's, uh, it's a multi-day program as opposed to a single-day workshop. Uh, that's, a, uh, uh, that's, that's a big step uh, in terms of the exposure that the kids are going to get uh, to filmmaking and uh, uh, the hands-on experience they're going to get. They're also going to be out in the field, which I think is going to be exciting for them. They're going to be in an unknown environment, uh, somewhat less controlled environment in the sense that uh, they don't really know what to expect of this forest preserve, and so they're going to have to think on the fly. When do we going to learn how to use a camera? Yeah, I mean, zoom in. This is a class, it's a science class. So they are not only going to be learning about the camera, the editing, the setup, but they're also going to have to be conducting these experiments for their science class. Yeah. What sort of theme or what sort of idea are you trying to communicate by doing that? Well, part of it, we want to show um, people about endangered species that live in, inside the river uh -huh. and outside the river. We try to show them um, how the river is important to them mm -hmm. and how it should not be polluted. And it also uh, has a theme here uh, about environmentalism, about conservation, and they're tying it into their regular school science curriculum. Uh, and so I think that having that guideline and that structure uh, will further emphasize uh, the importance that media plays in our lives and in terms of using it as a learning tool. My name is Luis Robles. We're here in the Forest Preserve. Um, this is the creek that we are going to do some testing. People are over there. Yeah. Okay, cut. All right. Good. Oh, I think it's been a great experience for the kids personally. Not only does it expose them to a whole new field of film and media, but um, it also gave them the opportunity to work with each other, to know each other better, to take on leadership roles. I've, I've seen a lot of that. I've noticed that these kids love working in teams and groups, and I think they thrive on that. Oh, wait, wait, I see it, I see it. I see a movie. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Camera is exciting. What about moving? That that's exciting? cool. Yeah, that's cool. Right. What are you learning today? You gotta be patient with the scenes you're gonna shot. Yeah. Because it might not always be where you want it to be. <laughs> what else are you learning? About movies in general. Takes time. Takes time. Uh, people have gotta agree on one thing. Well, at the beginning, I thought it was gonna be boring. The documentaries were gonna be boring because when I watch them, when I watch documentaries like Channel 11, they are, they're kind of boring. But once I actually learned how to do it, to do it this week, it was fun and I was wrong. It's, it's it's really fun doing documentaries. The week was pretty. It went pretty fast, which I didn't want to go because um, it was interesting at the same time because we learned about uh, camera angles, how the camera works. How, what type of shots, and stuff like that. 
I would actually like to thank you guys for 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 helping us. Um, I've seen positive things out of this, um, and I'm, I'm sure that this is something that they will take with them, you know, in high school, and they will look back five years, ten years from now, and they will they will see just what they can do, the product of their creations, you know. They can look back five years from now and say, this is something I created, this is something I can do. So maybe perhaps, you know, it'll, it'll spark some interest, you know, for them to, to create more, to be inspired you know, by what they do. Let's go!